Hey everyone, I always have a bit of a laugh looking up the latest headlines and seeing what nonsense the BBC's website considers to be news. Example, quote, could invisible barcodes revolutionise recycling? To which of course the answer is, could I care less? Well apparently the answer is yes, I could care less about certain things, namely the ins and outs of the Labour Party manifesto, because thanks to a week of political ineptitude, it has about as much chance of becoming reality as that dream I had for a zebra won the Grand National. The Labour Party had a truly dreadful week, even by their standards, with contradictory press releases, public heckling, a series of candidates facing legal challenges, as well as prospective MPs suggesting more approaches to Brexit than there are stars in the EU flag. Although most online activists would rather we concentrated on that other flag with a star on it, you know, the blue six-sided one. This week also saw Jeremy Corbyn ask which terrorist he'd like to invite to Downing Street if he won, although I admit it would make for an interesting episode of Come Dine With Me. There was also a story put out suggesting he'd actually suffered a stroke earlier in the year and was now merely a figurehead for the machinations behind the scene, but like the old Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev in his last year, although presumably Corbyn would like to be seen as a bit more left-wing than Leonid. Two possibilities therefore exist. Number one, the conspiracy one, the interesting one, in which the campaign is now being deliberately badly run from behind the scenes so that Corbyn is forced to step down on grounds of, quote, ill health, before a new and fresh Labour frontrunner promises a government of national unity and they romp home with support from the SNP and the Lib Dems. Possibility number two, the realistic one, the one where the Daily Mail wants to sell newspapers because it wants to make money, and the whole campaign is just really what you'd expect when it's run by 20-something-year-old activists fresh from university, whose only experience with the public was when they read about them in a book, and who probably think that the coal strike was something to do about saving the environment. Oh well, less than a month ago. See you next week, if you like these, click subscribe.